hi gorgeous handsome whoever is watching this hi guys i miss you guys so much and i know that's literally all i say whenever i film but seriously guys a week or even two weeks even two days it feels like a long time so i miss you guys group hug because y'all my babies but i hope you guys are having a great day night evening whatever time you guys are watching this today i'm going to be doing a what i got for my 20th birthday now guys here's the gag here's the tea okay i didn't really film on my 20th birthday because i wanted it to be very intentional and on top of that i'm gonna be honest with you guys literally two days before my birthday i was just completely sad it's just the first time i am not with my ex-partner like after three years so it was just a lot of emotions i also found out that he is seeing someone new so i just been life has been beating me up <laughs> And I was just going through a lot of emotions, um, just not even just with losing that person, but also with losing a lot of people. I feel like after that, I just was losing people like flies and I know everything is for a reason. So I didn't really want to pick up my camera and pretend like I was happy because honestly, I wasn't. That's another thing that made me more sad was like, because I know I should be happy and I should be thankful since I'm blessed enough to see 20 and I'm blessed enough to spend it with family. But I still wasn't and that made me even more sad. But I did get a little bit of footage of my party. It was like a tea party and it was all inspired by pinterest and my mom literally both of my moms actually brought it to life and i'm just so blessed god is blessing me through the pain through the happiness like through everything so i will insert that now com cabelos cor de mel Singela, seu nome é Mabel. But yeah, guys, it was so pretty, and I'm just so thankful. So that's a little bit of footage that I did get. Um, but other than that, let's get straight into what I got for my 20th birthday. <laughs> First and foremost. I got some cards from a lot of people. Also, by the way, the people at my work, at my job, the people at my job literally spoiled me and I've never got that treatment before. I was, I was in tears, like why? Like y'all are so sweet. So I was really thankful for that. But these are all the cards I got holding it like it's money. But no, like I appreciate everything. I keep cards, I don't know about you guys, but I, I just love to keep them and put them in my memory box. And then I got a lot of books. These are all my books. I'm so excited. Okay, so the first book I got for myself and it's called The Four Agreements. Me and my guy friend are actually reading this together because I bought him this for his birthday. We actually share the same birthday. He's just a year older than me. Like that's crazy. But yeah, so I've been wanting to read this. My internet friend Elizabeth elizabeth i am so sorry my internet friend isabel put me on to this and she always like would post little quotes from the this book exactly so i was like i have to read it because even a girl at my job was reading it and she said that i should read it and i believe they used to sell it at dollar tree i'm not too sure but and then my nana got me rise unstoppable and this is just a beautiful poem by a black author and it's just i'm just so excited i don't know every summary to all the books but once i start reading it i will definitely definitely summarize everything for you guys and i'll also start to make more book content whether it's on here or tiktok or both because i am such a bookworm as you guys can see y'all my uncle came through with the Issa Rae, the awkward, wait, no, the misadventures of awkward black girl. If you don't know who Issa Rae is, you're living under a rock, but it's okay because it'd be like that sometime. Issa Rae is this very well-known actress. She actually started off YouTube and she made this series called The Awkward Black Girl. And then she made a new series called Insecure, which is on HBO Max, I believe. And that is literally my comfort show like i love her so much and i just love her personality she literally acts just how she 
acts on TV. Like, she's just a vibe. And she's gonna make you laugh and she's gonna be real. And I love that so much. So when he got me this, I literally was so excited. Like, I was jumping up and down like a little baby. I wish I could have recorded that for you guys, but it's all, it's all good. It's not gonna be here for years on years on years, okay? It's fine. And then Shelves, my mom friend, got me a book lovers. And y'all, I actually got this book twice and I wasn't gonna give it away. Like, I was literally just gonna ship it to a friend and we could read it together. But they were like, no, I could take it back. And I was like, no, it's fine. And they literally just had us snatch it out of my hand. I wasn't gonna give it to them, but <laughs> it's okay. But yeah, so Shelves got me this book lovers. I heard so much about this book, whether it was good and bad, but I'm happy to place my own opinion. And like I said, I'll definitely keep you guys updated on that this book is thick and one thing about me i like a thick book give me a thick book because i like challenge like yes i'll read that 400 500 page a book i don't care and if it's 1000 that's a stretch but i'll still read it <laughs> and then we also have this is it i thought it said letter to love you but it says loath to love you and i've seen this before i think it was on pinterest but i haven't really heard about it but it's another thick little book and i also really am into rom-com those are mainly the only books that i read if it's not rom-com then it's poetry but i literally have been getting into a spicy book that my coworker actually got me for my birthday and that thing mwah, like i love the plot twist and i also love how it's very detailed i don't know like it's it's good to step out my comfort zone. I don't think that I'm going to read it all the time because if you fill your mind with temptation, you're gonna fall into temptation. I do think it was really nice and it was it did get me out my reading slump. So hey, I'm a rom-com fan for sure. And then I got this untamed clean on wall. I think that's how you say it. And then my mom got me. 30 day Bible study for black women. I'm actually gonna start this tomorrow because tomorrow is May 1st. As you guys are seeing this video, happy May 1st, happy first of the month. How are we feeling today? We get into the money, we get into the bag, we get into the mindset, we get into the Lord, cause that's, that's the richest you can go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm gonna be starting this. I'm super excited. Let me set this to the side. She also got me positive affirmations for black women. My moms always get me Christian books or Bible study books. All the Christian books that I have are from them. And my stepmom, she always, always get me this stuff. And she'll typically write me like a little letter just saying like always stay true to yourself and stuff. And I just appreciate how my parents are so supportive on my religion and all that type of stuff and just seeing them transition into it makes me happy as well so yeah and then she also got me i am unstoppable it's a guided journal of positive affirmations for black women so it's just another um positive affirmations and i think with me working a lot sometimes i typically can't pick up my bible can't is a very strong word i can but i don't make the time to truthfully and i think with these journals not that i will replace the bible but whenever i want to switch things up a bit one day i'll do some affirmations or just do a bible study or something like that you know and then my uncle got me a piece of cake and he said this lady literally went through hell so the tears are going to be shedding this is also a very thick book i'm excited and like i said i'm just trying to branch out into different genres because i always read the same genres like it's always rom-com or it's always poetry. Poetry is always going to have my heart though. I don't care. The last book that I got was the spicy book I was talking about and it's called Wallbanger. I'm currently at page 80. I've been reading this book since April 10th, y'all. I'm like, girl, get it together. Like, this will literally take me two days or two three days a week something like that but i'm gonna give myself some time i'm getting out my book slump but to summarize this um book i guess you can say i guess you can say it is a book to summarize this book wall banger from the title well this girl she just moved into her new apartment that her boss actually just gave to her since she been working with her boss for so many years and her neighbor has sex with three different women he's always banging on the walls she's always hearing moaning sounds and the girl gets so fed up to where she walks out to the hallway banging on his door in her little kitty pajamas and she says something to the guy and you know they go back and forth they have words with each other comes to find out they end up falling in love so i'm that's all i'm gonna say 
That's all I'm gonna say because it's like other little cute little plot twists, but I love it. After the books, I got some sour patches. This is from my coworker Sharon. She actually, she, this is my girl. That's my girl. I said coworker. She is my coworker, but she's my girl. Mike and I and Twix. I still haven't tried these, but. I'm having a movie night this week. Tania, we're having a movie night, okay? Don't forget. And we're bringing all these snacks. She also got me a cup. I keep forgetting. I'm gonna show you guys one second. How rude of me to leave this out. This is like my favorite thing. Okay, she got me this cup that says my name. And y'all, she put my name on there. And it's pink. I love her so much. And then in her card, she got me a $25 Starbucks gift card. And of course, I already used it all. <laughs> but i appreciate it and then from my uncle i got these birkenstocks they're not real birkenstocks um the brand is called nc ai but they are so cute and again they're pink he also got me this aries candle it is blood orange plus peach i'm not really into astrology for many reasons but this does smell really good and I'm still gonna use it. My sister got me this vibrant little thing by Bath & Body Works. It is body cream and it smells so good. I used it and she also got me the matching spray. Oh, they both smell so freaking good. Then my coworker, Teresa, her little mean butt, got me this cranberry orange seltzer from Bath & Body Works. It's a candle. It smells so good. I already blew it. I as you can see the two little black dots but i love it so much and island also got me this little tray where i can put a whole bunch of things in not tray but you know like little storage and then my nana got me a snuggie i think that's what they're called i'm not gonna take it out the box but it's pink and the reason why she got me this is because i go to i go see her like three times a week and i always go and put on her snuggie it's the same color and everything and i said i want one so bad and she was like okay i'll get it for your birthday so she got me one i love my nana so much she's like one of my favorite persons my mom is my favorite thank god and then my little sister also got me this little what is it called peas and it's a little stuffed animal but it also flips which is so cute i think i really like this side honestly so we're gonna stick with this but she got me this and it's so freaking cute like i need to put it on my bed actually so i love that and then last but not least my coworker Zayla, that's also my girl as well. She got me this cute little gift bag, and me and Zayla are literally the same. So the fact that she got me this, she was like, "Oh, it's so kitty and shit." I was like, "No, it's not. This is literally something my mom would get me." She got me these glasses. I'll try them on for you guys. I actually haven't tried them on at all. Ooh, I'm looking at my viewfinder now. Don't mind me okay and then got another pair i really like these these are hot pink and we traveling honey so i'm about to wear these and then she got me some lip gloss i think this is black on as well i think that's what she told me she got me this keychain so freaking cute okay i need to add this so cute and then she got me these little teddy bear things and they are marshmallow flavored mints i believe and it's also like a little keychain as well like i mentioned in the beginning it's just been really hard for me so like everyone being sweet and just doing this for me like i really enjoyed it i appreciate it and i'm just y'all i'm so blessed and grateful at 20 years old no matter what i'm going through i am forever blessed but all right guys that is all for today's video this is a really chill video you know we sitting by the window we hearing the train the birds the wind we vibing you know and i just want you guys to know that cheers to freaking 20 like i'm so thankful blessed highly favored i say it all the time i said it three seconds ago but hey i'm gonna say it again and i do believe that this is just gonna be the start of something great the start is something great so no matter where you are no matter what you're going through no matter how you feel right now keep going because that's literally all we can do and god loves you see you next sunday bye or monday bye <laughs>
I was filming a TikTok. Y'all can go follow me on there. Oh, wait, let me make sure. Okay, I totally forgot what I was saying. Okay, first and first and starters. That's what I was gonna say. That's a baby. Okay.